What is up YouTube? Today I've got something sent to me from Silver Fox Industries. I've had this kit for a little while. This is the Hyper, I think it's called, or HYPR. This is a Nerf Blaster kit, it's like a muzzle loader kit. This kit comes with everything except for the 3D printed parts. It's got this little glass tube here. I'm not sure, we're gonna get to that. Looks like a little thing of oil. And let's see what's inside. Looks like a rope, maybe a scrunchie for your wife or girlfriend's hair. No, not really. Uh, looks like some stretchy bits here. Two and then another one. We got all kinds of screws in here. Another little tube. And we got some rubber seals. Three big ones and one small one. Other than that, we got some hardware. Looks like some pins. Whoa, those got little holes in them. Okay. Yeah, these are pins actually. So there's a slit down the middle and a whole bunch of screws. So let's get the printed parts up here and show you how simple it is to put this thing together. So we have here base, base 2A and base 2B. We're only going to be needing the base 2A and 2B. We're going to take the big seal and put it around the outside here. You should have three of these. And we're going to take the small seal and put it around your little aluminum rod, like that. Line up your holes here and put your screw in, but we have to slide this in here first. Line them up. Knock them down. Now we're going to want a half inch on this side here sticking out. So we're going to push that back until it gets to a half inch. Like that. Now we're going to slide the part that's got the o-ring into this glass tube. Don't lubricate this. Like that. For this part, we're going to need the plunger, the con rod, and the o-rings. I'm going to put it on here. So one side of this is big, and also you can tell with the basically arrow pointing at it, line it up here. We're going to put a screw in each side. There's that. Before putting this part on here, make sure you put a little bit of oil around it or it's most likely going to rip your seal, but you want that to be able to slide in and out there. So slide that in there just like so. So now we want these three parts here, which is the wonder bar, top rail, and yoke. And we're going to put them on each side here. There's a little notch on each side, just like this. It kind of locks in there with a little V. You got to hold it in place. And then same thing here, hold that in place. On the back side here, we'll take this. You can actually see CS letters here so you know you don't have it upside down. Put it through that hole. Line these two holes up and we're going to put screws in those. Now it looks like we're getting somewhere. So you have all three of your camera pieces here. We're going to put this one on first, just with the two screws right here. It just sets on top of that V groove and your two screws go through on this side. So you're going to want to take your pins that came with your kit and check these holes. They should have a loose fit in all of them.
Now we can put our trigger on here with our camera. Which is going to go in here like this. With a pin. Right there. And this is going to set back like this here with a pin inside of that. Right there. Then the tricky part is getting this guy on. Lined up these holes. There it is. Put our three screws in. So what we're going to need to do is put the rest of the camera together, which holds this other side. But in between that, there's going to be a pin in these holes that line up with this. So pull that out until we get it where we want, like right there. Set our pin in through the hole. Get it in that side. Through here, and then we put our two screws in. We put our rail max on now. It's going to have two screws that hold it there and there. And it's also got two holes up top in the front there for pins. We'll drop those in there. Slide them in. Down, and now we can tighten it up. So we end up getting three little elastic bands that are stretchy. One of them is really short. We use the short one to push up through the hole in the bottom, up through the top, and it goes through the trigger, the trigger point here. It was not the easiest thing to get through there. So I ended up putting a little bit of that lubrication that comes with it on it inside and sliding it through to getting that through there. So we're going to tie a knot in the top here and not in the bottom. So it'll keep the trigger pulled down something like this. And now when we pull the trigger, it springs back. So now we get to wrap these straps on here. So there's a couple different ways to do it. You can do one or two, but what we're gonna do, is gonna go around the front right here in these grooves. Gonna go from there, back here, underneath this little slot here. And back around, and the same thing in the front. And then you're going to tie it together. So that's one. Now your second band is going to go right here on the grip, around that groove. Around the front. On that there. There. And it'll tie up right here. Once you have those both on there, or even one, you'll be able to... Nice. Let's strap those on. It may be easier just to go ahead and tie it in a knot. We're going to do that and then put it on so it's more balanced. And we'll cut these slack off afterwards. I think I'll put the knot right in the front. There 
There's one. Woo, it goes flying. So now let's put our second strap on to make it even stronger. So from the documentation on this, this is gonna go from 60, 75 to 90 FPS. If you do just wrap one, you're gonna look at 60 FPS. If you do wrap one and wrap two, you're gonna do 75. And if you do two of the wrap ones, you're gonna get 95 with full, that says full length darts. We're gonna do one of each wrap one and wrap two. It's gonna go on here like this. Underneath there. Back around to the front. And this part will pull up right there. It's got some power on it because I did tighten these up a little. Hope that didn't damage my camera. That thing's got some power. Very nice. This changes colors with the temperature as it changes. If it's a little hot, it changes to like a pink and almost white if it gets really hot. But it's actually very accurate. So, final thoughts. This thing's sweet. That's the final thoughts. Second thing that's cool about it. It's very inconspicuous. You can't even tell when I'm packing it right here. No one even sees that. So, that's awesome about it. Very high powered. I've noticed it's very accurate. If you shoot someone with it direct to skin, it stings. Also, if you shoot it at your wall, it will put a dent in the drywall. So be very careful with that stuff. Kids at home, don't be shooting your drywall. Your dad will be mad when he has to patch that stuff up. Trust me. So I just want to say thanks to Silver Fox Industries. They sent this kit here so I could do this build. They got some really cool stuff on their website. Go check it out. This one was $20. Minus the printed parts, you have to print the parts yourself. I also want to thank West3D and Polymaker. Both of their filaments are included in this build. Actually, it's 50% of each. So two colors are Polymaker, two colors are Ambrosia by West3D. All the links to these colors are going to be in the description of this video. Check them out. Thank you guys all for watching. Like, subscribe. I will see you next time.